In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage your contributors in your Jira product discovery. In case you didn't know, Jira product discovery is a totally new product that allows you to nourish ideas before they become epics, before they become stories, and really validate is something worth your company investing in. And up to this point, Jira software doesn't really let us nourish an idea, but Jira product discovery does. But in case you've already started playing around with Jira product discovery, you may have noticed that it's a separate bill. You do get a different bill for your Jira product discovery. And there's a couple of roles that we're going to be teaching you in this training here and discussing about contributors and creators and what are the different things that you, they can do and which license should you be giving out to your different team members. And so in this video, I'm going to kind of walk you through the semantics of what's a contributor, why do you care about contributors, and most importantly, compare them to the creators, and then I'm going to show you how to actually enable and utilize the contributors in your Jira project. Now, if you haven't already and you made it this far, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like if you get value, and don't forget to check out all the links down below as I got my merch store, I have paid courses, and, and I have links for my sponsors that help make these videos free. So make sure you go show them some love and click on their links down below. Don't want to sleep in cuz I got something to prove. I got to take what I hate and finally make a move. So let's look at pricing. Just for a second, I don't want to turn this into a whole pricing thing, but Jira product discovery is a separate add-on to your bill, right? It's a different product and it's going to come with its own fees. And there's a free version, and there's a standard version, and in the free version you get three creators and I'm going to show you what creators can do in a second, and you get unlimited contributors, which is really what we're going to be talking about today. Now, if you do end up being on the standard version, you can get unlimited creators, which you have to pay for $10 a person, and you get unlimited contributors. Now, the reason that this video is important for you is because not everybody needs to be a creator. And I'm going to show you who needs to be creators and, and who can be contributors, because it's very, very important that you understand that you do not want to be paying for the wrong person, right? If you are currently paying for everybody in your team to be a creator, I think that's a mistake. And I think you really got to understand how the contributor role here works because they're completely free. They're very much like customers in a Jira service management project. And I really do want you to reanalyze your situation and have a better understanding and review your billing for Jira Party Discovery and make sure you're paying for the right people based on these truths that I'm going to show you. I want to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. I recently discovered Released, a Jira app that generates stunning release notes straight from your Jira tickets. What used to take me hours takes minutes with Released. It's so easy to use. Just drag and drop your issues into the editor to craft your release notes. Then, publish your announcements with a single click to your website, in-app widget, or Confluence for internal collaboration. Make sure you click on the link in the description down below to start your free trial. So first, let's start off by defining what is a creator. So the creator is going to be an actual person that is a licensed user who actively creates and manages, this is the most important part, creates and manages projects. That means they go and create the Jira projects themselves, and they create the initial ideas. Now, contributors, now contributors are also going to be able to create ideas, but they're not going to be able to create the Jira project, which I think, in my opinion, that's totally cool. You only need a couple people to create these projects, right? You don't need to be paying for everybody. Now let's go down and there's actually a comparison here that allows you to understand the differences between a creator and a contributor. So again, just to reiterate, the creators are going to be billable paid users who actively create and manage the projects, ideas, fields, and views. Your contributors, they're going to require an Atlassian account, which is basically just register their email with Atlassian, and they're going to be able to discover the projects, but they don't need all the permissions, right? Because they're not going to create projects, but they can add insights, which is basically research and development for an idea. They can comment on the ideas and views. They can vote on the and react to the ideas. They can open shared ideas and views. They can open a discovery project, which means they can just access the project. And most importantly here, they can create ideas. So the contributor license, as you can see, is pretty powerful. So the really the only thing they can't do, as you can see down here, is create like fields and views, which really you don't want everybody being able to do that anyways. They can't create Jira projects, specifically these part discovery ones, which again, you don't want everybody being able to do. 
And they can't edit the ideas. They can provide input, they can add comments and vote, but they won't be able to edit like the description, the title and things like that. But again, this is totally fine because as long as you have somebody and your creator that you are paying, an individual for only $10, then I think you're fine, right? I think you don't need everybody in your company to be able to like do all those changes. You mainly want to receive feedback. You wanna receive that input on that idea to see if it's even worth pursuing. And you can do that for free, which is probably the most important part, right? So hopefully by now I've convinced you that contributors, good, and creators, you wanna make sure that you're paying appropriately as needed, right? And so now how do we actually add these contributors to our project? Well, it's actually a few step process and I'm gonna walk you through them right now. I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. I recently discovered Released, a Jira app that generates stunning release notes straight from your Jira tickets. What used to take me hours takes minutes with Released. It's so easy to use. Just drag and drop your issues into the editor to craft your release notes. Then publish your announcements with a single click to your website in-app widget or confluence for internal collaboration make sure you click on the link in the description down below to start your free trial so in your jira product discovery you can tell that i'm in a product discovery project because it says discovery project up here you're going to want to do a couple of things so let's start off with step number one number one is we're going to go to project settings and we're going to expand features and you're going to click on this create ideas and then you have this allow contributors to create ideas yours should be turned off by default if it's a new project but if this is in the gray, then this is no bueno. You want to slide it on over, make it green. And now contributors are going to be able to interact with your project. Now, as an added bonus, if you want those contributors to be able to add ideas, if to completely create brand new ideas, then you want to configure this section down here, which is what's going to allow you to pick up view that you're going to want your contributors to interact with. This is what's going to make these views shareable and they're gonna be able to essentially fill out a form and, and provide whatever information you make required and be able to create those ideas and submit those ideas uh, uh, for free, right? So that's that second part, but a little bit out of scope. Let me know in the comment section if you're interested so I can go deeper into that. Drop a like as well if you like these type of Jira Party Discovery videos. So anyways, once you've done this, once you've done the slider, now it's time to go to the access section up here on the left and you're gonna come over here and you're gonna make sure that you have contributor, that you have product access for contributor with the role of contributor. This needs to be there. And now all you need to do is add people to be a contributor. So you just click on this add people button. You put in somebody's name, bob at kingbob.com. And then you, instead of making them a creator, you make them a contributor. And then you click add and then that's it. That's all you gotta do. And now King Bob is going to be able to contribute to this particular project. And it might take a couple seconds here to update the list, which is totally fine. But this is what you wanna do. You wanna make sure that you're not overpaying for people that really only just need to contribute to ideas because this is gonna drastically bring your Atlassian build down, but also give your team the power and the, and, and the functionality that they need in order to really utilize your product discovery. If you're using a tool like AHA or you've used something like AHA in the past, then this is very similar to like the reviewer and viewer uh, roles that they have, which are like their stakeholder licenses. This is totally cool. And this is what really makes Jira Product Discovery a little bit even more unique than Jira Software, because as you know, Jira Software doesn't have any free licensing. There's no stakeholder license. And so you want to leverage the fact that you can add everybody in your company to be contributors so that they can help nourish ideas, help be able to contribute, provide feedback, and ultimately build a better product for your company that you can sell. I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. I recently discovered Released, a Jira app that generates stunning release notes straight from your Jira tickets. What used to take me hours takes minutes with Released. It's so easy to use. Just drag and drop your issues into the editor to craft your release notes. Then publish your announcements with a single click to your website, in-app widget, or Confluence for internal collaboration. Make sure you click on the link in the description down below to start your free trial. So anyways, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy it, super, super easy to add these contributors, but make sure you smash that like button. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button down in there as well. And finally, don't forget to check out the links in the description down below. I got the merch store, paid courses, and links to the sponsored content for this video that makes this video possible. So make sure you show my sponsor some love, and I'll see you in the next one. So fight and fight.